Hello everyone, Sunken Land has finally been released. I've been waiting for this game for a while now. It looked really interesting, so I'm glad to finally be able to play it. And looks like we can actually make a character. Well, they don't seem to have many options, but I guess that's alright. Makes it easy, in my opinion. Right, there's the character. Create a game. Oh man, there's a lot of- He can have a world description as well. And I'm looking at this, and I think I'm just gonna keep all of this, like, normal. Respawn time. I guess 10 is the minimum. Alright, let's start. Wow. This looks already so cool. Can I explore all this? Like, is there anything, any, any point to explore all this? Oh yeah, there is. Look at that. Alright, scavenging. We get a bunch of metal scrap. Oh, it exploded as well. That's pretty cool. I don't know what it is about... I pretty much like these destroyed buildings and it's all underwater. I really like to explore these, like environments and this one looks really good i really love how the water kind of ripples over everything you have this rainbow light it looks really nice so great job to the devs this game already looks amazing oh man if we go any further we can see a bunch of buildings in the distance that already looks sick for now though let's stay around this island and let's see what else we can loot so far i will admit it's a bunch of metal scrap which in any other survival game, it's a bit of a later tier item to collect. Alright, let's see. Oh my god. I'm gonna be, um... I'm gonna be gushing over the art style and just environmental stuff for a while, I think. If there's anything I love in video games, it is the environment. Especially in survival games, if you can make a beautiful looking environment, that is something I enjoy a lot. I don't know what it is about destroyed civilizations that just look peaceful and very good. Does it mean I have a problem as a person? Well, probably. Before I start collecting a bunch more stuff, it does not seem like we have any carry capacity, which I suppose is good. I'll not start crafting a wooden spear. I love that it's instant. We have missions as well. A new chapter. I found myself on a beach with a pounding headache and no memories except for being tortured in the dark room. Goddamn. Survival is my top priority now. But I have nothing. I'll scour the surroundings for materials to make a shelter and tools, a bed to sleep, and something to satisfy my hunger would be great too. Here's a list of things I should do. I need to establish a base. The terrain is uneven. I need to build on foundations. I should scavenge underwater ruins for materials. I can hunt large fish for food, but it must be cautious of sharks. Considering the long term, I should cultivate fruits for sustainable food sources. Acquiring weapons is a priority as I must be prepared for potential encounters with pirates. Exploring for blueprints or broken items can lead to crafting better gear. Well, that's good to know. There's no other pages, but I assume this will fill out later. But that is pretty cool. So these are all the foundations we can make. It seems like to have a armor rating, which I would imagine it can be destroyed by the pirates. There's already a lot of stuff here, and I enjoy that quite a lot. Some cabinets, some desks. It's some of the basic stuff that I wish more survival games have. It's just a bunch of decorative tools. Alright, seems like rope's gonna be like the big thing. I'm gonna need to find out how to make cloth eventually as well. Okay, we're really gonna need to figure out how to make cloth. Cloth is made from cotton. I found a little tent on this island. And there is a chest here as well. <laughs> a rubber duck. Hell yes, it's a decoration. An oven with strawberry seeds. That's probably gonna be very helpful once we get the planter going. Alright, are there any cottons around? A lot of uh, strawberries on this island, which I suppose is good. But nothing that looks like it would yield any cotton. Ooh, the car had some cloth in it. That is pretty good. I might just set up a temporary camp on this island. Well, I think that would probably be a smart idea. Alright, I guess everything has to be built on foundations, even the chests. That's a lot of space. That is fantastic. You have so many survival games that just have such little space in their storage chest or at least the starting ones but this one seems to have enough this is like the decent perfect size it's bigger than the inventory which is something i love yeah it's great so far i really love the game i can see myself play this for a while still all right there's a big bin here let's hope that it has some goodies oh it has an old clock and some components yes and cloth this right here is something i love so much the old clock. I mean, it's not specifically the old clock that I love, but I love that there's just random decorations to find out in the world. 
which in my opinion is more of an incentive to explore even later game, especially because it seems like a lot of these items just give, well, the same thing, they give scrap metal mostly. Here's the fullest water tower you'll ever see in your life. What is this? Um... Alright then. <laughs> I think we're missing a chunk of the world here. Discovered ruins? But we've been finding ruins this entire time, right? I guess these are more special? Maybe because they're bigger and not just random buildings along a highway? Oh, we found some pants. Nice. That gives a lot of hunger. It gives health as well as energy. That's pretty good. Oh, sweet. From eating those strawberries, it seems like we are getting some seeds as well. While talking about seeds, though, we have enough cloth, we have enough wood. Let's make ourselves a planter box. All right, well, my plan here is because we don't really have a whole lot of food. I want to see how fast this grows, but we are going through a lot of strawberries, so I'm not really too optimistic there. Hey, what's that over there? That seems like an island with a lot of walls. We might just go check that out. Desk clock and a pan? Yes. My guess is this is like one of those pirate hideouts. Mutant settlement. Well, I'm just gonna check it out, but I doubt I want to get too close. Okay, they already spotted me, because I can see a couple just running about. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. Ouch. Oh, that is... These are tough. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm getting out of here. I can actually see an island up here as well that has a bunch of buildings on it. Radio island. Oh, I mean, there's enemies on this island as well. Alright, I'm just gonna check it out. Yeah, there are people over here. It seems like they're holding something that looks like a gun. A couch. Oh, we can destroy this. That might just give a ton of cloth. It gets leather. A leather couch, nice. And then over there seems like... Oh, I'm fucking dead. Yeah, okay, they definitely had a gun, alright. I was gonna say, that looks like a copper vein over there. <laughs> alright, we're definitely not prepared for, like, any conflict outside of our area here. Alright, let's slowly swim ashore. Seems like we died really close to the water, which I guess is good. Okay, but that was pretty crazy, but at least we know that it does look like there is some sort of ore over there. Alright, well, the strawberries, you know, actually are not that bad. They grow rather quickly. I think what I want to do is I just want to set up a small base right now. Which you should probably make from metal, especially because we have so much. So something I noticed is there doesn't seem to be some sort of staircase. Which I suppose in this case is fine because it's not that high up. But that would probably be a very good addition. Man, would you look at that. We ran out of metal. We had so much of it too, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, okay, these strawberries, definitely good enough to sustain us, I think. Because they already grew again, which is really good. Oh wow, there's a, oh, apparently entire mansion. I just came here for these crates because I saw them. Can we do anything with these crates? They are open on this side. Oh nice. Some pants? Found some gasoline in this vat. Well, the armor isn't particularly much better, but I guess they are just random clothes. They ain't gonna stop no bullets. Ouch, what the hell? Oh, there's a shark in this area. Oh no. I say oh no, and I continue to loot. I actually wanted to see if the, this place had anything. Well, that shark seemed to have... Okay, no, that shark's coming back. Okay, well, uh, we'll come back to the mansion later. Like, I would really want to, but I really need to... I think we need to get rid of the shark, so we can do something... Hopefully about that by next episode. But hey, we got some more toys, we got some paintings. We can definitely spruce up our house, that's for dang sure. It's not bedtime. Man's complaining about bedtime, he's tired as hell, but it's like... It ain't 9 o'clock yet, so it's not bedtime. Okay, so we need a support structure in order to make the roof, but it doesn't want to be supported here. I don't really understand that, but... Again, doesn't want to do it over there. Alright, I think why it's having issues placing some of these is it doesn't want to see the window as well as the door as a viable spot to place a roof over. Just the walls. I'm guessing that's just a bug and it will be fixed soon. Ooh, this is a safe. A motorboat blueprint. Why and perfume? I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh! Oh, that was close. I was so distracted by all the stuff we got. Well, can, this is actually something we can sell, or use, apparently. You can use some perfume, smell better again. Oh, nice, a wooden chair, that's pretty good. 
with a blueprint though. A small gasoline powered boat that can carry two people. It's fast and... Okay. So let's see how expensive that thing would be. And actually, I think we have all the components to build it. That's pretty good. I found a bunch of crates here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. There's so much stuff in there. It's all decorative, so I want it. Alright, now we should scurry on home, because we're actually dying of thirst. If we go like this, it kind of looks like we're walking in the water. I'm gonna start building the purifier. Should probably start making stuff in our house. Now the question is, which side is the front? And I'm gonna be guessing it is probably this side. I guess correctly, the gauge is on this side. Okay, so we need to add seawater to this. I wonder if there's a tool to pick stuff back up. We can actually make the seawater bucket. This is probably what we need in order to actually ship all the seawater. We should probably get on that soon as well. But yeah, I really wish there was a button to pick stuff back up. And if there is, I wish I knew how. Oh, I just noticed there is a blueprint screen here as well. There seem to be quite a bit of them, that's pretty good. As well as a map. Oh, so these are all the islands and locations we explored. There's a percentage next to it as well, I wonder what that's all about. Is that how much we explored of it? Or how much we looted? It's probably looted, because it's 12. We got a little bit of loot from here, but not here. I'm guessing the percentage means how much we looted. Alright, so these are all the factions. There seem to be quite a bit of them. We've seen the mutants as well as the marauders, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the marauders were the ones that were... On Radio Island. Seeing I got a bush here. We need a tool in order to collect it. I wonder what tool we would need for that then. I also see that there's a repairing hammer and it says for it's for dismantling as well. So my guess is we can probably pick stuff back up with this repair hammer. We still need the cotton for it then. Well, believe it or not, we're actually completely out of metal again because I was going to make this bucket. But I guess I am not. The sack would probably also be good to have, but again we need rope for that. What's going on? Why is there music? Is there, is there a raid going on? Oh shit, there is! It's a fucking mutant! A naked man! We got him. He brought some cloth, but he was completely naked though. It's nighttime, I can't see. Where are they coming from? There's one in the water over there, I can see him. Oh! Oh my goodness. Alright, that might be a problem. Oh no, I can hear multiple. Let's go back. It's getting night time, which is really unfortunate. I can see two in the darkness here. Come on, attack faster, man! Okay, he's out of stamina. That's not good. Alright, we got one down. Hey, get out of my house, man! Alright, there we go. We got him. Ooh, had some water on him. And some bird meat. Heck yes! Alright, well, that was uh, our first raid. I wish you could see something, though, because, man, that was dark. I actually love that you could actually place stuff on top of pretty much everything here. I placed the pan we found in here, and now it kind of looks like we're cooking it in the pan. Man, this is our house so far. So from the outside, it doesn't look like a lot. When we go on the inside, I've been playing for like an hour or so. Look at how kind of decorated it already looks. We found all these decorations, which is amazing. I really love this so far. Like, if you look at it like this, that looks amazing. And then, of course, we got a couple other things, some storage units, so I keep all the food in here, all the random stuff in here. Then I keep my valuables in here that we can sell off. Then I got a couple planter boxes. We really need to figure out which tool can remove the bushes, because that probably was a mistake. And then, of course, we got the bed down here. And that is pretty much all we had, really. And we still have some other supplies in this chest, but it's just, well, the clothing, which I don't think does a lot, because it doesn't look like it can break, it doesn't have any durability. Unlike this torch, it has a durability bar. Yeah, like food-wise and water-wise, I guess we're doing great. I guess strawberries are really good, actually. Might be a bit too OP, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to be leaving it off over here. I've enjoyed this game a lot so far, so we'll definitely come back. I think in the next episode, what I want to do is I want to try and get probably better situated. I want to see if we can get some armor and see if we can get inside of that mansion that we found. We'll probably also look into creating the motorboat because I think we have everything except for, well, the metal, which funny enough should be the easiest part to collect. But yeah, it looks like we got pretty much everything else. So I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.